How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. So it is a snowy morning on the farm. Well, it's actually not snowing anymore, but it's the first time in a while that we've actually had snow sticking to the ground. So that's pretty cool. It's also a bit of a problem. So we're going to have to take care of that um, real soon. So we'll head over to the farmyard and grab the Massey with the snowblower and we'll come in here and get it all cleared out. There is some better weather in the forecast for later today so it should melt off okay but just in case i want to get it cleared up anyway so we'll just fire it into the field and it should melt off pretty quickly over there so um yeah we'll head over and get that done real quick but before we do i wanted to talk about the farm all real quick so i got it all washed up and cleaned up last night and it's actually looking really good there's I mean, a lot of flaky paint and stuff on it, but overall, not in bad condition. So I did also speak to Zach about it last night, and he's very excited for this. He's 100% on board and can't wait to get going. So he's going to do a full paint job on this for us. Unfortunately, though, he can't do it at his place. He doesn't have the space or the equipment to do it. But he does have the space and the equipment at work to do it. So he's going to have a bit of a chat to them and see if they'll be willing to let us use the facilities after hours. So now, obviously, we'll pay for all of the, the materials used and all, but hopefully we can get the facilities for free. But yeah, other than that, I haven't done anything else to it. Um, nothing mechanically or anything like that. We'll have to do a good once-over on it and give it a good service and all as well, and um, just make sure everything's in good working condition um, before we get it all sent off to paint. But um, yeah, other than that, um, we also went ahead and paid off $50,000 in our loan. So our money at the moment is sitting at $45,000, but our loan is only sitting at $130,000, which sounds a lot better than $180,000 to me. So um, yeah, that also just keeps us in good standing with the bank in case we need a loan again at some point, which... To be honest, at this point, I'm sure we will because I somehow seem to keep dream dreaming up um, new ideas. So, um, yeah, which I should probably stop doing because eventually I'm not going to be able to get to everything. But, yeah, it, it keeps life interesting, I guess. Um, but talking about keeping life interesting, goodness me, are you guys keeping life interesting? You guys have been absolutely smashing it on these videos. So... Thank you so much for everyone for watching all of the videos and yeah, just all of the views and all of the subscribers and all of the likes and all of the comments and you guys are just absolutely amazing. And talking about comments, I just wanted to mention that I feel really, really bad because you guys leave so many comments on the videos that I just can't answer all of them anymore. There's so many of them that I just can't answer all of them anymore. But I do try to remember to leave a little like or a little heart or something on, on the comments. And I do try and answer as many as I possibly can. But please keep them coming. I absolutely love hearing from you guys. You guys just, it, it's fantastic. I love hearing your stories and all of your fantastic suggestions. And it's just absolutely fantastic to hear from you guys. And I do read every single comment. I really do. I read every single one, even if I don't reply. And sometimes I forget to leave a little like or a little heart or something. But I do read every single one. So rest assured that if you leave a comment, I do see them and I do read them and I do appreciate them and I love reading them. And it's just fantastic. You guys are so, so amazing and so supportive. And, and it's great because I learn so much from you guys as well. Because... I mean, a lot of what I'm doing on the farm here, I don't know that much about. I'm still learning. I'm very, very much still learning. And I learn a lot from you guys. You guys have some fantastic suggestions and a lot of help that comes from you guys. A lot of you are a lot more experienced in farming than what I am. So, yeah, I'm just sort of learning on the farm here. And it just makes farming here so much more exciting, knowing that so many of you guys are going to see it. And sort of help me out with it and leave your comments and yeah you guys are just fantastic so thank you so much so 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 much i really really do appreciate it and i really really do read all of the comments so please keep them coming i love hearing from you guys and um 
keep the suggestions coming and keep the help coming. I, I appreciate absolutely all of it. But um, with that said, we are going to get to work for today, um, which is going to involve quite a bit of snow blowing. So yeah, we're going to start at the dealership and then we'll head back to, to the farmyard and we'll get that done as well. And um, yeah, after that, I don't really know what the plans are for, for after that. But for now, we are going to jump into a real quick time lapse. So we'll send the drone up and we'll get this all knocked out real quick. So for now, sit back, relax and enjoy. Well, that is job done, and that took about an hour and a half, I think that was, so quite time-consuming, but um, a fun job, though. I, I do enjoy doing a bit of snow blowing, so yeah, not too bad at all. Anyway, we are going to head back to the farmyard. Oh, hang on. Um, hang on. Let me pull in. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hello? Uh, uh, Alright, well that was Zach and we are actually on our way there. So he is on his way. He'll be here soon. But he wants to know if we want to go racing with him. So I said, yeah, why not? And we'll actually have an opportunity to race ourselves again, not just watch. Um, at least this time he gave me the choice. Um, if I wanted to race, but I enjoyed it so much last time that I wasn't going to say no. So I'm going to meet him here at his place um, in a few minutes. He should be here soon. But he also gave me the number of a guy who's selling an old Ford tractor, which sounds promising. He says he's seen it and he says it's a really nice tractor. It's in need of a little bit of work, but it's clean and it's nice and it works and is well looked after. Um, it's obviously just an old tractor, so it does have a bit of wear and tear on it, but he says it should be should be good. So I am going to give that guy a call um, probably somewhere today and see if we can make maybe make a deal on this thing. I'll just ask him to maybe send me a video or some pictures or something of it and um, I'll make a decision on it because he is a little ways away, but um, he does say that this guy has got his own truck. Um, with the low boy, so if we do end up buying it, he might be able to deliver it for us. So that'll be really good. Um, well, I mean, Zach has a truck as well. I don't know why he has this thing. What is the point of it? It's beautiful. But what on earth is the point of this thing? He, he doesn't seem to use any of his stuff, including his tractor. Where is his tractor? Where's everything? He's been selling a lot of stuff, but he hasn't been buying a lot of stuff. But, um... Yeah. Anyway, so um, apparently the weather is clearing up a little bit later on, so hopefully we'll have some good weather at the racetrack. But um, yeah, we're going to head over there, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, well, we are in the car, and I don't know this track at all, but here we go anyways. I'm going to just try and take it sort of easy on the start here, because, yeah, everyone seems to be taking it a little bit easy. But uh, yeah, I tried to sort of walk the perimeter of the track to sort of get a feel for it, but yeah, that, that didn't really help, and I didn't get very far, to be honest. Um, right, oh my, oh my goodness, they, yep, those are some, oh my goodness, there's a wall. Um, well, that, um, yep, that went great. Oh my goodness me, I, I didn't expect that wall there, and it seems like neither did anyone else. 
Right, and uh, we've got quite a bit of catching up to do here. Oh, that guy's spinning, and I think there's someone fairly close behind us, which is not good because we are going to get hit and probably spun out, but here we are. Right, we're sort of back in the pack. There's a lot of people racing today. I think it's 32 in the field. Oh, the brakes are so sharp on this. Yeah, the, this track sort of splits in two there, so you can take the sort of shorter, more sort of windy route, or you can take um, the, the quicker but longer route. So I, I don't know if anyone's particularly quicker, but I think I'm going to stick with the longer route for now. Oh, that wall is really dangerous. That's one that we, we just hit. Oh, there's a pile up. There's a pile up in front of us. Oh my goodness, trying to avoid the carnage. Oh, we got through them beautifully. Man, that's scary. That is really scary if you suddenly see cars turning sideways in front of you and you have to just sort of go for it. Okay, okay, here we go. I think we're still way down the pack though. I have no idea what position we're in, but I think we're, we're way down. Way, way down. I, I can see people off in the distance there, cars going around the, the first corner there. Oh, wow, this guy just, um, yep, he just came over that hill. And obviously missed a corner somewhere. Oh, overshot it a little bit. Come on, put down, let's go, let's go, let's go into third gear. Catch this van up again. Head. Oh, this thing is slippery. Absolutely slippery. Oh, it's quick though. Zach really has built a monster here. This thing is so quick. Oh, bit heavy on the brakes there. Big lock up. Alright. Let's get past this van. I don't want to mess around with him too much because he's definitely got a, a weight advantage there and he'll take us out quite easily I would think. I'll try and get around these corners sort of as quickly as possible, not hang around in them because that's how you get hit. I don't know if I ran over something there but something sounded a bit odd. I hope nothing's breaking. Oh, hit that one. Okay, man, this is this is kind of exhausting and kind of scary, but super fun, super super fun. I love this. Man, we need to buy our own car. We really, really do. I, I need to do this more often. Oh, here we go. I don't know what position we're in. I don't even know what lap we're on. But this is fun. This is a lot of fun. I love this. Definitely scary. Definitely, definitely scary. Especially when you see the pileups happening. Because you could very, very easily be all involved in them. Kind of like that. Kind of exactly. Where are you going, my dude? He was just flat out in reverse. Oh my goodness. The car gets very, very light over these bumps. Well, especially when it goes completely airborne. in the corner oh yeah oh, 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 oh. I'm getting pushed don't want to lose control there that'll be bad that'll be really bad now we're not obligated to take that other route I think a rally cross you are obligated to take what they call the joker lap but um, yeah we don't have to do that right are we on the last lap all right well we are back at the farm and that was indeed the last lap so i just did a cool down lap after that and we ended up coming third in our race which was much higher up than what i expected i thought we were probably about midfield but apparently we made up a lot of places and yeah came third so that was fantastic uh, especially taking into account that we were dead last after hitting a wall so yeah i was i was very very happy and luckily there was no major damage on the car from hitting that wall uh, zach did very well in his race as well he came second so he was very happy and also got away with minimal damage on the car he had a bit of um, bumps and scrapes but nothing major um but yeah i i got back to the farm and no snow no snow at all because just as we left here for the racetrack the sun came out and it was actually really nice. Um, so yeah, it, it melted off 
pretty quickly and the the racetrack's only about an hour from here so we had some nice weather over there and uh, but it came back and no snow so to be honest if i knew it was gonna melt off that quickly i wouldn't have bothered clearing clearing the yard but i mean you don't know until you know and it was kind of fun to get the snowblower out and uh, run about the yard a little bit so yeah i'm not complaining it was still fun to do but kind of useless i would say but i spoke to that friend of zach's his name is frank um so i gave him a ring and he sent me a whole bunch of photos and the tractor looks really good uh, the paint job is not that great but otherwise it sounds like it's a really good running working tractor and he wanted 25,000 for it and I said to him if you can bring it here deliver it I'll give you 25 so we're basically getting delivery for free and he was happy enough with us so he's on his way and I mean we can still decide to not go for it although I already paid him but he said if um if he gets here and we don't like it we don't have to do the deal um, and he'll pay the money back so that'll be absolutely fine so we have a bit of a safety net there but I'm gonna wait for him to bring it in and um yeah he should be here shortly and if we like it we'll keep it if we don't we'll send it back but yeah so i'm gonna wait for him and um i'll catch up with you guys as soon as the tractor has arrived all right well it has arrived and i'll tell you what it is beautiful i mean the paint job is really rough on it like really rough but i mean how cool is that so it's a ford 7810 and I think this thing is epic. That is so cool. Absolutely love it. And I did start it up already. And it starts right away. Let me just squeeze past here. Oh, oh. Yep, there we are. Listen to this. There we are. How cool is that? I love it. Right. Let's get it off the trailer. We'll take it for a quick drive. So, um, I did speak to Frank briefly. He drove the truck here himself, so that was pretty cool. But he just popped over to the supermarket over there uh, to grab some snacks for his his road home. Um, his is about half an hour drive, so he wanted to get some snacks. A little bit further than what he expected. But... Um, I am really, really happy that he brought this over. This is so cool. I mean, it's pretty slow, actually, but... Not bad at all. Not a bad sound, either. I mean, I'm half tempted to keep this for the farm and sell the, um... The Massey. Rather than selling this. Oh. Hello? Um, yeah, I mean, the only only problem is this doesn't have a front load on it. I mean, we can maybe get one fitted through the dealership. I don't know. I'll have to ask, but I I don't know. I mean, let me know what you guys think. Should we um, keep this and sell the Massey, or should we just keep the Massey? I think power-wise, they're quite similar. I think the Massey is around 130. I think this is about 140, maybe. Um, yeah, probably not a huge power difference between them, but that is so cool. I do like Ford tractors. They're awesome. So let me know. Are we keeping it or are we selling it? But um, what I wanted to do is I wanted to do a quote of the day because I haven't done one in a while. So the quote for today is, every day is not a good day, but there is good in every day. That's a really nice one. I like that. I like that a lot, actually. So if you don't know what the quote of the day is or what you need to do is basically, it's just a nice little motivational quote for you guys and kind of for myself as well, I guess. But what you need to do is pause the video and type the quote in the comment section below this video and the first person to do that will get pinned so the quote is 
every day is not a good day, but there is good in every day. So pause the video and type that in the comment section. First person to, to do that will get pinned. Um, but yeah, I think we're basically going to leave it there for today. So if you want to see the race from the broadcast perspective, I was able to get the footage off of that. Um, so that'll be at the end of this video. So you can watch that if you want to. It's just, um, yeah, basically the broadcast perspective. So a different, a different perspective to watch the race from. And it's actually quite cool. I've watched it through and yeah, pretty freaking cool. So if you want to, you can watch that. You're more than welcome. It'll be at the end of this video. But we are going to leave it there for today, guys. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give me a thumbs up and I'll see you all next time.